Right, hello everybody. Welcome to Blitz Pit number five. Andre versus Shawnee. And I forgot to put the Blitz Pit logo in the corner. <laughs> right, as you can see, Shawnee's got a bludge catcher there. Um, and a wrestle, lino, dodge guard, blitzer. A dodge damning tackle blitzer. Um, so there's no tackle on Shawnee's team. And he does have a downing tackle. Oh no, he's got a, he's got the sacker, of course. He's got the rackle sacker, but it's it's not a it's not a tackle blitz like you know. It's not, he's not got a tackle blitz against goblins, um, because wrestle isn't very desirable, is it, against only seven people? Um, yeah, everyone everyone's a fast player, but just particularly the minute turns can like make tricky turns trickier and stuff, can't it? So. That could be a factor, and just dice as well, especially from the, uh, especially from Andre's side. Um, he's got a couple of claw players, a couple of block claw players, and he's got a claw pom, and a claw mighty tackle. So he's got lots of. Now obviously, Shawnee's all on a seven, so the claws don't really matter. But he's got a tackle mighty blow, and he's got a pommer, and then he's got Skit the stab stab, who has got, um, is a gutter runner with tail. Shadowing and stab, so that's quite good against. So although he's got like Glart for the orcs and he's got Skitter for the uh, elves, so yeah, dice will be a huge factor. Dice will probably be the biggest factor. Um, Shawnee does have thirteen players though. Both players, both players have got thirteen players. So um, and obviously by f by far, Andre has much more killing potential. So. Um, you know, it's, it'll be interesting. Definitely. <laughs> so, yeah, the, the POM. The POM took someone out there, didn't it? Did he take out a defenseless player? Yeah. That's the smart thing to do, I think. Just target. Target defenseless players until... Until you get up men, and then you can start going for the... Um, the juicier targets when we can't protect them. Yeah, four claw is it like even though it's wasted against Shawnee. Mostly wasted against Shawnee. It's still not that bad. But I mean the problem he's gonna have a bigger problem on offense. Um, you know, gonna be hard for him to protect the ball against elves. Especially as he's getting a thrower hit here. That's no surprise that Shawnee's targeting the thrower there. To try to take him out. Now, obviously, he's got two throwers, but still. <laughs> um, you know, if he takes out throwers, that's going to help him. Like, I, I would imagine Shawnee will be able to stall it out. Um, and then it's going to be down to whether Andre has got, you know, big enough men advantage and dice to. Uh, be able to not get turned over on offense. But it's it's it could all it could be it could be really you know anything can happen really. Anything can happen this game for sure. Hello Lucky Lucas. Um not bad thanks. I'm t really tired today actually that's why I haven't had a face cam on and stuff. I was trying to take it a bit easier. Um in the other games but then in this, I, I, when I'm just commentating, I like to not have my face on because it's it's about the people playing the game, isn't it? He's going to elf screen a little bit here. I'm not sure that's worth it. Um, <laughs> well, I mean, he's protecting his leader, isn't he? But like, I don't think. I don't think he's going to keep him out by L-screen. That's what I'm trying to say. Not that it's not a bad thing to do this turn. I don't think L-screening will be enough. Not that I think that's all he's going to do. <laughs> but, you yeah. know. Hello, Satatoad. So 
surprised he didn't dodge away. He could have dodged it where this guy at the end, couldn't he? I'm so oh no, he's got diamond tackle, so he couldn't. <laughs> the diamond tackle is going to get him extra hits. But. It's a bit. <laughs> yeah, it's great, isn't it? Yeah, just only having two goggles. It's pretty good. Two stars. It's a it's a pretty good eleven, and he's he's he had didn't have that many re rolls. He got one off the uh, off the kickoff, and obviously he's got a lead leader as well. But yeah, two stars, a claw pommer and a claw mighty tackle and a claw mighty blow tackle. I mean that's pretty good. Claw mighty blow, but I can't speak now. Sorry. Block claw mighty with the. Uh, Troll, hasn't he? His troll's pretty rowdy. That is a pretty rowdy troll. Obviously, again, not not so rowdy against uh, Sean. Oh. <sighs> Missing the pit. Tackle. Doesn't do anything. Um, no, nobody. I think Underworld were the only two. I know Dawn took humans. So. So, I mean, Griff is really good, but I think he's just a bit too expensive to take, really. You kind of have to sacrifice a bit more. Whereas Underworld, obviously having goblins, are really cheap. So they can uh, they can deal with the cost better. And he gets clawed. And he doesn't have dodge against the dwarves, and he gets clawed versus people who aren't the dwarves. Wow, greed there. Greed claw mighty hit. That was interesting, wasn't it? I'm not sure I like that. And when I say I'm not sure I like that, <laughs> I guess he was getting wrestled, but still. Still, though. Could have just fouled the dude. Wouldn't have been terrible. Oh no! It was a push. It was a push. So it was total greed. No, that was that was terrible. <laughs> In my opinion, oh no, he had four. He had four rerolls. He had the bonus reroll from the kickoff. So it it wasn't terrible. It was just gre very greedy. Um, it was just greedy. But it's fair enough. It's the sort of thing I would do actually with having the extra reroll. That's fair enough. So that you wouldn't normally do, but I think, oh well, wow. got an extra reroll. I'll go for it. If Skitter gets on the ball, it'll be a little bit problematic, but he does have dodge. So. And obviously, good handoff or whatever, so. Shawnee will no doubt keep a guy next to him to hand off to uh, in case of a bit of a skittery. Lovely punch animation. Leaves the line or basing the claw mate. Which is fair enough. Doesn't have tackle on this guy. That was a bit. bit, uh, bit I guess he's trying to, you know, stop the score a bit there. But that greed that he rerolled last turn could have greeted this turn, right? So, not wasn't sure about that greed reroll last turn. It wasn't terrible though.
Will Shawnee go for the surf here? I think he probably could. I'd have to dodge in, wouldn't he? Have to put a guard there and a dude there. Punch to there and you have to dodge in again. Or I guess he could put two players there and just cancel his assist. But even then it'd still be a dodge. In. Just gonna switch sides. Oh, good job, he's got a catch. At least this makes the skitter stab stab ball basing less scary. Standard L's a lot of vanity passes, isn't it? Really, just uh, kind of messing around for a few turns until uh, hopefully pressing forward and scoring. <laughs> mm. Left the blood step in contact. I think I'd have tried to dodge him away. I don't really relish the thought of getting hit by Glorcon. Tell you the truth. Even with dodge. I mean, taking three players up is obviously massive. But she's got the potential to do, hasn't he? If he doesn't get power. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Badly hurt. Apo. In works, obviously, because I'm badly hurt. Brilliant. Good job. Power Apo there. So, <laughs> 13 players under Power Apo. I've just realised why I've just got tired now, because I went to bed early and stuff last night. And that's why I'm... the tiredness is hitting me later than usual. He does get powered by Clawpon. I'm not sure I'd, I'm not sure I would have done that with which one did that. Got that. I think it was worth trying to dodge away, honestly, because yes, he could have taken up three players out of the game that turn, but he's not in the opponent's half. You know, he's not trying to get into the half. He's not he's not going anywhere or doing anything. And so even if all three of those guys had hit him and not knocked him over, it wouldn't have been that much, you know, uh, Andre wouldn't have been that much worse off. So I, would, I think I would like the uh, touches there. This uh, stupid means you can 2 plus away, which is nice, isn't it? This big guy being strength 4 is a bit of a problem. Especially because he could blitz the gobble and then run straight through. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Much more likely to not get knocked over. I think maybe he should have blitzed in his tackle. Don't know. I don't like not having a block tackle guy to hit, to hit, you know, goblins. Like, I know, you obviously, you probably wouldn't have expected many Underworld. And there's three in, out of 16 are Underworld. You probably wouldn't expect them. But, like, you know, there's... Oh god, he's just running out of time. Sure. So there you go. This is this is the thing, isn't it? With the minute turns, Shawnee of all people is about to run out of time. Oh my god, he's potatoing. 
Oh, you just potatoed when he was about to run out of time. Wow. That was like the single worst thing he could have done. But the potato was worse. <laughs> the potato was worse. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Yeah, if he could have clicked faster, yeah, exactly, yeah, he could have done, but it was too risky to do with only two seconds left. It was too risky there to do that with only two seconds left, because, yeah, he could have had some cover if, he, if he'd done it five seconds earlier, he could have had cover for it, but once he'd down to two seconds, you just got to stay there, haven't you? But, yeah, and that's what I said, though, so I feel that's what I said. Hey, I'm not, not to toot my own horn, but in my Blitz pre preview... I said it could come down to who deals with the minute turns. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he didn't even have blood, blood did he? Because he had tackle. So. I mean, he's had some bad luck, obviously, with that guy getting cast off the claw from hit. And that other guy getting cast. Uh, yeah, so it's on YouTube. I, I didn't get it on really at very in very good time. Unfortunately, um, somebody joined late, and I only I wanted to wait till everyone was in the game because I'm lazy. And then um, because I waited, so, and then I did the preview. But then because I, I did a 12-hour stream yesterday, so I didn't get it uploaded till like 1 a.m. or something. I was going for the scatter by like hitting a goblin. Very nice. Oh! Worst possible scatter. Never lucky. <laughs> the good thing for Shawnee is... Um, you know, as, as long as he's got a team out, which, you know, at the moment he does, at the moment he's got 11, uh, maybe 12 for the second half. So as long as he as long as he's got a team for the second half, um, you know Andrew's offense is going to be harder than his defense, I think. Which sounds stupid against elves, but it's why I like to kick as elves as well because then you know what you've got to do on offense. Like if Shawnee was trying to stall out the half, wasn't he? Whereas if he was one nil up, he wouldn't have had to try to stall out the half, and he could have scored earlier, and then uh, won easily maybe. This is still risky for uh, for Andre. He probably wants to go for the uh, one in twelve pickup from from the loner. I would have. I wouldn't have stabbed with him. I would have moved him last turn. Just thinking that I'd rather pick up with him because it's a one in twelve. Then isn't it? Because he's he's one in six. And then fifty percent of the time you've got the uh, loner. What's a one in nine? And if you if you fail the one in nine here. He could be in some uh, some trouble. I guess he, this way he's a scoring threat, isn't he? Which is which is nice for a movement nine guy. Not bothered about the scoring threat. Uh, ish. It's about a one in twelve. For Skitter to pick up to fit for Skitter to fail the ball pickup is about a one in twelve. I'd have moved him back and picked up with him. Last turn. Hello, Super VIP Nicholson. BB. Um, Blitz Pit is a tournament organised by Gdanik um, and sponsored by some people um, in which uh, he invites people who are good at Blood Bowl Ooh, to play in it. And uh, it's one minute turns. And, um, hey, he's double one. It's one minute turns, good players, and interesting rules. Like, the rules change each time to make it a bit more interesting and stuff. So that's about it. Shawnee's got a chance to score here, see? I would have gone for blitzing one of the scoring threats. And, you know, probably the catcher, because he's got, he's got nose of steel, right? So blitz him and base him. But as it is... Shook, saw knee. 
Oh god, he really, he really needed the power there. I guess he doesn't need one, but he would have liked one. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. And then lob it to him, I guess. <laughs> well, there you go. Sorry. Had to do it, didn't I? Had to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Sophie. Who do I think will? I, I, well, I think it would. I think. Thought, think. It would come down to the dice and who dealt with the minute turns. And as it happened, I thought it would have been how Andre defends the ball with minute turns versus Elves. But it turned out to be how Shawnee defended the ball with minute turns. And it wasn't very well. But he's got a shot now, he's just gonna just pass it from there. Then if you then if you fumble it you've got more tackle zones. Yeah, I mean that was my initial thought was to go there the way he's gone. But then I thought to myself, just now, I thought actually it's better to go from here, so then if you fumble it you've got more tackle zones. There you go, see look how the blitz that kind of <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough, Nicholson. <laughs> yeah, he, he got away with that one. I think I, I was surprised. I was genuinely surprised that Andre didn't really respect the, the score. Still, he still had two scoring threats. And he blitzed for that. He blitzed that guy and stuff. Wrong blitzing one of them. I think you've got to be. Bit scared. It is indeed, yes, Skuro. I should have maybe put that on the thing, but yes, it is uh, because with a Twitch sub, Twitch takes half, and with a Patreon, they take some amount, not very much, um, but they take some kind of a fee. I, I like, I, I don't know exactly what it is, but it's like between five and ten percent, something like that. It's, it's not, it's not, it's way, way less than. Um, than Twitch is 50%. But it means you don't get sexy emotes, does it? Oh, glorious. Thank you very much, Skuro. <laughs> Clavius. That didn't happen. That didn't happen. That didn't happen. <laughs> Oh dear. He's got the one turn, hasn't he? He could throw a goblin here. He could throw a goblin. Shawnee is defended and he's got the skitter as well. God he's got he's got juggernaut for skitter pushes and then he's got a goblin as well. And he's got a claw mighty hits. He's not even trying the skitter score. I think it was worth trying the skitter score, wasn't it? Especially as he started with it. <laughs> oh my god. I can do both because he can block them and then put blitz from there. Will that work? No, that won't work. I can't, I can't, he fucked it. He's honestly. <laughs> god. I think he should have been on the line so that the troll could have gone forward one. And I think he should have had him not there so he could have gone and blitzed it. He could have pushed him forward and done an easy one turn. I think the, the one turn from him was way easier than a gobble, and I hate being one square back. I genuinely hate that. I don't know how much goblins or anything uh, Andre's played, but I really don't like throwing from one square back. You could easily be one square short here. He's not, of course. Look at dog. That was really lucky, that. Really, really lucky. <laughs> I think that was. I think that was poor being one square back. So yeah, that was. Uh, so Shawnee got that crazy score, and then Bosch. <laughs>
bust. But now he's taken the Akaz, isn't he? If he, this come back, they came back, so he's still got 11. So, he's still got 11 on defense. He is down the uh, blood step diamond tackle, but he's got 11 men. Which he couldn't have asked for more than 11. I mean, he can't. He could have had 12, but he couldn't start with 12, could he? So he's got nearly the strongest team he could put out on defense for the second half. Only missing this guy. But he's got the Lino instead. And yeah, if these claw mighty hits work. Well, not claw mighty, they're just mighty blow and pom. Mighty, two mighty blows and a pommer. And a stabber. <laughs> what race was single or using screw off the gun? Sure, sorry, I thought that was a terrible idea. <laughs> terrible. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was a bad, bad move from him. Oof, there's the pawn. Doesn't matter to Sean any of it was a boring game that he wasn't interested in, and he's also on a hot date. <laughs> Rather watch TV anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I think he should have moved all of the players that were going to move first like these back ones there's only one but these two are, are going to move right somewhere he, he was right to not move him because he would have been better there I think he would have been better one square forward and he would have been I think these two should have been there first but I like not moving him first because obviously he's more cover if you fail. Yeah, there is time pressure and everything. And just the pressure of a big match. I'm not totally hating on Andre for saying that. I'm just saying he put, you know, no doubt I'm sure if he was watching it he'd say the same that he wouldn't do that or, that he, you know what I mean, whatever. I think. I think maybe he should have been back. Because at the moment, Shawnee's still got the leap in, if he wants it. Whereas if he had been behind him, he wouldn't have had it. But again, I'm not, I'm not banging on anybody. Yeah, he probably didn't actually. He was quite far away, wasn't he? And maybe he could have made the, maybe he could have made the guys in front, though. You know, maybe he could have made it a bit different. But yes, we need the gym gym disclaimers. Need the gym disclaimers. There's loads of my games that I've watched and said there's no way I'd do that, and I've done them, you know. <laughs> so. Just a claw hit. He's got no guard at all, has he? So. It wasn't super easy to get hit with a claw power. But still. But see, now he could have made it so that it was safer in front, and he still hasn't. I guess, unless he just walls off the front. If he walls off the front, then you have the front safe. Yeah, so he just walls off the front, that's, that's fair enough. I guess he values the claw mighty tackle more than the claw pong. Just the fact that Shoney's got like what three dodges? Three dodges. So while the uh, while the claw pong is terrifying, I guess the tackle and mighty is good enough. Could be going over time there. It was at Chris's reception. 
<laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. But no, I think he did the right thing there, but valuing the tackle higher than the piling on. Especially as he's in like a good spot now, isn't he? Man up. Oof. Unlucky VIP or an answers. Oh, I gotta say, I'm glad I'm not playing it. I absolutely shattered. I would be. I would be ooh, this is a big double skull. If it was a double skull, really stupid not so bad because he had players to activate afterwards. Well, really stupid was a bit of a risk, but a double skull would have been. Uh, Shattering for him, isn't it? It is, yeah. Underworld. There's three Underworld out of 16 in Blitz Pit. And I only did one game of Blood Bowl. OFL. Lemon is good in a pointless match. That <laughs> went well. 1 1 draw. So that was fine. Hey, the classic end of turn. Dodge might as well into a fucking death. And he's thinking, I've got four rerolls, why didn't I reroll it? <laughs> Probably. Sean, he could go all men's here now. That's equalised the number of players in the field. Uh, he's stupid, so it's not a factor. He could get a flood, flood of players through here. He's got to be wary of the handoff to Skitter and stuff, though. Not saying that he would do that, but it's something he could do. Yeah, Elliot for sure, yep. I can't remember the others to be honest. But yeah, Andre Elliot and someone else. So he's playing conservatively. And the danger with the conservative player now is, of course, that, um, you know, if it goes to overtime, and he's favoured, I think, probably. Just because he's probably going to do some more attrition in the coming turns, isn't he? And he does have Skitter. He does have a gutter run up to score with, which is pretty good. Oh, yeah, Cyber Knight, of course, yeah. Yeah, Di I, I thought Dio was pretty favoured in that game, honestly. Like, obviously, Belly could have rolled rolled him, even though there's no dice. I picked Dio to win it all, haven't I, actually? Picked Dio to win it all. Because Kemi are just beasts. They're beasts when there's no elves, because the elves are scared of, of dwarves. And then... <laughs> <laughs> and then the claw teams that beat the dwarf teams lose to Camry, and dwarves lose to Camry. So if everyone's taking dwarves and dwarves and claws, then Camry are just loving it, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, like not uh, predicting the meta and stuff is. Is good, isn't it? That's uh, yikes. <laughs> Maybe careless here. Was he vanity passing? <laughs> Dedicated his whole team for a surf from six squares away. No, I didn't understand that either. The thumps. I think minute is a, like it's 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 funny because obviously a minute's not very long to defend against vampires, but it's also not very long to uh, capitalize with vampires. So I think it's. I guess if you think you you've got big brain, then um, and he does like them as well. Yeah, he does like them. But like, I, I guess if you if you've got ten minutes and your opponent's got one minute, if you had ten minute turns and your opponent had one minute turns, then vampires would be really good, wouldn't they? So I guess if you think you're really good, vampires become more of a uh, a more 
attractive pick, but um, yeah, probably. He does like he does like them and play them a lot, and he, you know it does it does help to play something you're comfortable with, obviously in minute turn. <laughs> Ce joueur va se prendre un coup dessus. <laughs> God, he's, he's had some good dice, hasn't he, this game, to be fair, as old uh, Andre. Four Kaz is is a touch high. He made a few KOs as well. A cheeky stun there. Yeah, four Kaz is a little high. I would say so. He's got one Pommer. And two mighty blow. Even with armor seven, mostly defenseless armor seven. I wouldn't be. Uh, I wouldn't be too happy about taking four cars. I'm, I'm not saying it's an absolute dicing. <laughs> it just seems a little on the high side. He, he's also had three guys KO'd. Oh, c'est tout sauf une bonne idée de finir sa course si près de la ligne de. Oh, Jim Fowl. But now, um, Andrew's got 11 men max for overtime. So that is a thing. If overtime is a thing, of course, which it might not be. Shawnee can get in for the leap sack now, can't he? Pretty easily. Pretty easy leap sack now. Hmm. Yeah, I just think that I was just think there's a little high. I think I would have maybe dodge with that guy. To cancel these two assists and then go one, two, three, four, five, six. Because, you know, you're getting the point now where you've got to look for some luck, I think, for Shawnee. I don't fancy going overtime against this team. Yeah, Underworld do seem to get a lot, don't they? Does, I mean, three out, of th three out of 16 people went for Underworld, so it seems like, uh, you know, people thought it was a good format for them. So Shawnee is going for that move. It's the wrestle. And he gets it there. And see, that's the thing by making that block. He used players that he could have just done the straight two plus first, couldn't he? So these players were then no longer available to uh, take advantage of that. But it was a bit safer to obviously if you'd made the two DB, that's safer than a two plus. Oh, tackle. I think that was uh, the, the, again, the turns getting to him a bit. Turn length, he probably could have just gone around here, couldn't he? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or something if you want to do. Um, I'm just commentating on two two games. I didn't want to be in CSABs. I asked I asked to not be in <laughs> CSABs. I asked to not be invited. Um, because what happens is I'm always hyped for it. And then I always I'm always tired and <laughs> pissed off and <laughs> just generally not in don't enjoy playing good ball in in the tournament, even though I like the idea of it and everything. Wow, again? Oh, no, it wasn't greedy, it was a sidestepper. Okay. That was a good, good bit of greed there. You can, you can get it safe here, can't you? One, two, three, four. You can be in a cage there. Pin. Two, three, four. And make a full cage. 
Um, so yeah, no, I'm commentating on the next game, um, which is, you know, after this, and I'm going to bed because I'm absolutely shattered. Although the uh, although the double double E was fun, uh, maybe should have just ended the stream and then. Hey. Now, Andre really wants to win in normal time. <laughs> he probably doesn't want to get overtime now because now he's only got a one man advantage. And, uh, you know, L's are pretty good, aren't they? Got another speculative leap in. I think I would have preferred to. Um... Well, do you know what? I think I would have leapt in, but I don't think it would have made any difference. I think I left in from here and pushed to there, but I guess leaping in from here and pushing to there is just the same. Tackle her next to the ball is nice, isn't it? And the uh, and the shadower. We have no choice but to go through the tackle. Cheers. He st stands up the throw straight away, and maybe he's going to go for uh, the old skitter recovery. Could also block him to free him up. I think he's going to go for the the, the uh, skitter pick up and fuck off, isn't he, over here? That's looking pretty good. That's looking pretty good. Whoa! Got to re-roll that. Makes the 11 out of 12 pickup. <laughs> Which is almost what it was, wasn't it? Oh, could he go on the sideline? Is that safe? May well be. He could maybe get chained. Unlighting it, probably can't get changed. Uh, you can get chained to a uh, basin. Yeah, it's easy to stand on the sideline. I don't know. I, I would have thought about. I mean, I just, I just selected there. I guess I would have thought about it if I was playing the game and then stood on the sideline. 1D there can't fail, can it? Because you either push him, even if you skull, he can't hit you to uh, chain this guy forward. So yeah, Shawnee can't even base him. And that is all she wrote. Congra congratulations to Andre. Going through the winner's bracket with, uh... No, he hasn't won. He hasn't won because Shoney might one turn. Even though he's just badly hurt himself. Shoney could one turn. Yeah, he, he, hasn't, got, he hasn't got many players. Now he might not have enough. <laughs> Seven players? I don't think he's going to have enough players. But, um... There could be a quick snap. Or a riot, couldn't they? So, quick snap or riot's gonna give him a chance. But he's gonna need one of, one of those. Eight men. Yeah, well. I thought when I was looking at the teams, I was like, it, does, it did seem a favourable format for them, certainly, yeah. Even though I didn't know what the actual rules were. <laughs> um. <laughs> Just looking at the teams, they seemed they seemed pretty pretty strong. Oh.
Did, did he start rolling dice with chaos? Really? <laughs> I really would have rather had Mighty Blow on Dyer's team. Sean is Shawnee failing due to time. Maybe. He's Spanish, isn't he, Andre? I always think he's Russian, but he's uh, Spanish. He did win the first World Cup and did go well. This looks like Shawnee cannot score now. Guess he'll use his minute. Try to think. Ça cherche clairement le corps à corps. Mm -hmm. Tout en grâce. Pas étonnant que les fans soient mécontents. Hey, get wrestled. Oh man. Wow. There you go. A 15 AV breaks. <laughs> only three for Shawnee, but I get Bessie, bet he didn't make many blocks. No, he made quite a lot. He only made two less blocks. Wow. And then three breaks to a 15. Um, so I guess I guess Shawnee might feel a bit diced. To be fair, um, <laughs> twelve knockdowns, twenty pushes, seventeen both downs. Yeah, that's pretty poor dice from Shawnee. Twenty-two, twenty-five, twenty-two. So GFIs were awful for him. Um, but he got that touchdown, which was good, wasn't it? So um, yeah, you know. The big thing was showing him out of turn, not that it cost him in the end. <laughs> and everything else, I guess, was just, you know, he had some cracks at the ball, didn't he? But well played at both. Congratulations to Andre. And uh, these aren't up to date, but thank you for my Patreons. Uh, particularly C, C Knuckles. No, it's Clav Clavius. Clavius? Clavius. Clavius now, isn't it? Clavius and Nicholson, thank you to those two, the orc throwers. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.